Hey guys, Caleb's Cards here, and uh, my favorite hobby and what I like to do in my spare time is write out autograph requests. Um, in this TTM video, you're going to see a recap of all the autographs I've received in this week from various celebrities, athletes, even maybe some military veterans, some NASA astronauts, and uh, also going to just show you ways. Um, maybe how you can get them. Uh, there are links down below in the description of all the sites I use to find these addresses. Uh, one of them is completely free. Uh, two you do have to sign up for, but uh, one does come up with a free week trial and definitely well worth it. Um, also, I do share some of my addresses on the Instagram page. If you're on Instagram, you can also check out the link down below there. It's right underneath the Facebook link. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get into this. Um, I guess we'll start off with baseball today. Um, didn't get a chance to film Monday, so I'm coming to you on Wednesday. Uh, so this is Mondays and Tuesdays stuff. So first of all, we got uh, three photos signed by Mr. Tim Burtsess. He played for the Oakland A's and the Cincinnati Reds. The member of uh, the Cincinnati Reds World Series Championship team in 1990. Here's the third photo. Picture of the Fleer Star stickers cards. And hopefully uh, these videos will give you ideas of people to send to for your collection. Next up, this came in yesterday. This is Mr. Bob Patterson. Former Pirates left-handed pitcher throughout the 80s and 90s. He signed three as well. Uh, he also signed this photo of his induction into, I believe, the North Carolina uh, Sports Hall of Fame. I'm pretty sure it's North Carolina. I think that's where he's from. So, with the Philippians 4, 10 through 13 description. So, very cool. Those are the two baseball returns so far. Got a couple football here. We got uh, on Tuesday Hall of Famer Paul Horning with a donation, a small donation. Um, Signed in green, looks pretty cool. Um, one is going to go to Bruce. I know he got me him um, just in the last package I showed, but I figured I'd return the favor and uh, send him one. And I might honestly give away the other to somebody else because I've, I've gotten him once or twice before. And I sent to Roger Craig. I don't remember if I sent a donation or not. I kind of didn't have enough cash, I don't think. Uh, would have, but uh, he signed anyways. I, I don't know if he necessarily requires a donation, but I think they are accepted. Um, kind of makes the point of being a donation rather than a fee. But uh, one's also going to Bruce. So this also goes towards my Battle of the Decades contest, if you're not familiar with that. I am hosting a TTM contest. goes into February next year. We are trying to get uh, 90s and 70s football players. I'm on Team 90s. And there's another some YouTubers and Facebookers and stuff that are trying to get stuff for Team 70s. So so far, Team 70s is in in, in the lead. I will do a, a recap slash uh, update to that uh, next week, not this week. Uh, Chase will do his this week. But again, yeah, pretty cool. It says CC, you are the man. So that's a pretty awesome description. And then he has a Super Bowl description down below. So thank you, Mr. Craig. We share the same last name. Then uh, this is for Dustin Blake's uh, TTM challenge. Uh, I opened a pack of 1990 score. And there's like 15, 16 cards. Uh, I sent to Mr. Ronnie Lott. It came back, well it's damaged now, but it came back unsigned. Uh, in his own envelope, uh, he returned my check. I won't show you that because that's my information on it. But with a preprint 8x10. So... I don't know if that technically counts because I got something back, um, but technically he didn't sign my card, so I have no idea. I messaged Dustin, let him know, let him decide what uh, what to do there. So um, at least I got something back, I guess. So it's not a total loss. Um, we do have a couple of hockey here. We got uh, I found this card, thought it was cool, figured I send it. It's from 1996 Classic Clear Assets. This is Radek Dvork. And he signed this card for me. Took about three weeks or so, two weeks. And got another hockey, hockey legend from the Boston Bruins. I think he also played for another team or two in there. 
Kenny Hodge Sr. I believe he only signs one, one each though. So, because every, just about everybody is looking like they just get one back. So if you sent to him, probably just send one. Then we have a NASA astronaut. He is retired. This is Mr. Don Lynn. He's in his 80s now, I believe. He signed two. I think one's going to go to Garrett, if I remember right. And final one to end us off for this little clip. I accidentally sent the one wrong photo to her, though, so I do apologize. But this is Miss Phoebe Dorn. She's an actress. Pretty sure this is from the TV show Wild Wild West, if I remember right. I send out so many, so sometimes they're all in a blur. So I can't always remember. And then this is the one I sent <laughs> the wrong one, I guess. I, it's kind of weird. It was came up as her, so and like they had her face tagged as her too, so that's why I selected it. But uh, I guess uh, I'm pretty sure Miss Miss Doran knows who she is, so I was wrong. So I do apologize to Miss Doran. So. That is everything. Nice. Uh, oh, you know, a couple purchases I made. Um, they're kind of on sale, so I thought I'd give it a shot. They are JSA authenticated, so hopefully, uh, I, don't, I think JSA is pretty decent. So I uh, got Donnie Baseball, Donnie Maddenly. Definitely looks like it was signed a long time ago, or maybe they had it framed and sitting in the sun because it's a little bit faded. So hopefully it's all right, or it's bleeding through or something. Um, and it's easier for you to see in person. It shows up on the camera. It never shows up properly. There's the little certificate deal. And I picked up this one, Hall of Famer Johnny Bench. Although it has two like fingerprint smudges, I don't remember seeing that. I probably wouldn't have bought it then. So I'll have to look at the auction uh, listing to make sure the picture was the same. So that's kind of a bummer, but I mean it was on sale, so maybe if it like the picture doesn't show up, maybe I can get a discount. I don't know. We'll see. So I buy from a lot of crook cards on eBay if you ever want to check them out. So okay, now that's everything. Um, I will. There was no mail today for Wednesday, so maybe Thursday or Friday I'll do another little clip for you and put this video together for you on the weekend. So thanks so much for watching. I will be right back with more. All right, I am back. Um, I kind of uh, got delayed there in doing videos. It's Saturday. Um, real excited today because we had our first flag football game uh, just this morning. And uh, the guys did very well, and we won. So uh, my first game back coaching in like five or six years. So that's pretty awesome. Uh, I think the score is like 18 to eight. Um, it, it's a rec league, so the scores don't technically count. But we were just kind of keeping track of stats. A little extra bonus I do for the kids, uh, doing little prizes and stuff. So um, yeah, we won 18 to eight. The defense was definitely uh, did a great job. Uh, we just need to work on some more things on offense, but. Uh, they're a bunch of 10 year olds and they de they defeated a bunch of 11 and 12 year olds so I mean that's a pretty good accomplishment uh, defeating a bunch of older kids and uh, also being a I guess technically a rookie coach because it's been so long since I've been in it so um, that was that was pretty cool today so I'm in a good mood my brother's in a good mood we both did well and the kids did well so really happy today so I got a bunch of mail to go over with you uh, for the rest of the week uh, we got the mail that came in today actually quite a bit Really, just two things from my parents and all these things from me. <laughs> so, um, they're always like, I think it's just you that lives here. We never get any mail. And then we also got a special package from Kim Williams that will open up. And then the rest of the TTMs uh, from the last clip I recorded through, uh, I think it was Tuesday. So, Tuesday or Wednesday when I recorded it. Um, so, let's start with this stack here. So, technically, this counts for the NFL Battle of the Decades contest. Um, he did only play one year in the 90s, which is 1990 for the Minnesota Vikings. And I believe at least one of the photos is from about that year. So I'm going to go ahead and count it um, towards our team. So one point for Team 90s here. This is Minnesota Vikings linebacker legend 
Scott Studwell. This one he signed for Bruce. This one he signed for me. He's tackling a Dolphins player. That's a little bit earlier photo, I believe. And then here's just a regular old photo. Um, looks like he's about to go into coverage. Then we got a WNBA Hall of Famer, uh, Nancy Lieberman Klein. She signed three photos for me. She uh, holds the record for being the oldest woman to play in a professional basketball game. She was 50. There she put her Hall of Fame inscription on all of them, I believe. Here she is throwing out the first pitch in the Texas Rangers game. Got a little smudge, but that's alright. Just rubbed a little bit. Thought that was just kind of an interesting one to find. And uh, she's also coached in the NBA and WNBA. And I believe currently she's an announcer. So, Miss Klein is doing well. And thank you so much for signing. Next up, we have a Winston Cup racer. This is Jimmy Horton. He signed two photos for me. There's a new New Egypt, and then here's just one of one of his cars that he signed. So very cool. Uh, one's going to Bruce. Got a World War II veteran back. Um, he is an Iwo Jima veteran. He also took place in Guadalcanal and Saipan. This is Winton Carter from the U.S. Marines during World War II. And he signed the back of each photo. So there's, I got a photo of the Iwo Jima flag raising and then the Iwo Jima on the island itself today. So he signed both and he is uh, 100 years old. He was born 1919. So thank uh, him for signing for me and thank you for your service, Mr. Carter. Then we have from ALF. Um, this is Mr. Benji Gregory, who signed two photos. It's very cool. Get back from him. He signed one for Bruce as well. And this one came back surprisingly way quicker than I expected. Um, printed out two photos. Got one from the Sandlot and one from Indiana Jones. This is Miss Karen Allen. I sent to her PO box, not her business, and it came back quick, way quicker than normal. So, pretty sure it is legitimate but uh, very awesome so those were the ones through uh, Thursday and Friday and Wednesday so let's see what we got for today so hopefully you guys are having a great day um, football's tomorrow baseball's coming to a close um, this is an older one no postmark uh, sent that out in March of this year so yeah wonder who this could be almost thought it wasn't signed, but it is signed. Um, it is Mr. Ralph Neely <clears throat> from the Cowboys. Um, this one is kind of hard to see. It looks like there's a fan interference there in the middle of the huddle or something. And then here he is going up against Isaiah Robertson. He was an offensive lineman during the Cowboys glory days and all the Super Bowls. They were a dominant team in the 70s, and then they were a dominant team in the 90s. So very cool. Uh, next up, got Tampa Bay, Florida. Uh, eight, so August last month. It is coming back from Mr. Wayne Garrett. Here's a really cool photo. Um, who is that? Almost thought I reckon I can't quite see who that is, but I really like that photo. It looks really cool. Third baseman for the Mets. He also played other infield positions. Shortstop, second base, I believe. Uh, here's another cool one. We almost got him there. <laughs> Coach is saying slide. So that's very cool. Awesome. So very cool return there. Like really like the selection of photos I made there. This one because it's black, you can't see the postmark. This one's for Garrett actually. This is an old one. This is from June. Colored envelopes means it's for Garrett. At least from the batch that's not with the colored envelope. Uh, looks like he just signed one, but that's all right. I have gotten him before, 
also Mr. Greg Lazinski didn't sign this one. But I got him on a 5x7 for Garrett, so still very cool. He might just be one per now or something, I don't know. I sent to uh, it's via the Philadelphia Phillies at his restaurant there. So uh, if you want to try that, you can right there. It might take a little bit. Next up, San Antonio, Texas. This is also from last month. Well, this is Terry Slezak. He was the first to touch moon dust when the astronauts came back from the moon. This is to Caleb. Um, from first man to touch the moon dust, Terry Slezak. So, pretty cool uh, return from NASA history and human history in general. It's very cool. I uh, got this one coming up from San Bernardino, California. So, sent out in May, another old one. Nice that I'm getting some of those old ones back. Wonder who it could be. I know I got still tons of pendings out there, so it's kind of scary. Oh, it's uh, Mr. Pete Rickert. So here he is with the Dodgers back in 1964. Here he is celebrating the Orioles championship. And of course his face got a little cut off, but that's... He's soaking Frank Robinson there. <laughs> and then he also signed one of the little extras include the little baseball and bat custom so pretty cool couple more here this one's coming back from Honolulu Hawaii I have some ideas of who this is August 2019 this is an actress I think. nope I was wrong it's a golfer it's Mr. Uh, Scott Simpson who signed two photos so I believe one's going the Bruce, if I remember right. So cool return. Don't get much golf in, so I tried to send a few out when I can. And final one for today, coming back from Jacksonville, Florida. This is a little bit older one, set in July. Initials of JF. They return the letter. The notes are okay. It's another golf return. Coming back from Mr. Jim Furk. Very cool. Nice looking signature. Nice photos. Came out pretty cool. So two golf returns right there. It's pretty awesome. No hockey. No surprise. Only two hockey this week. So alright, so let's open up the special package from Kim Williams. So thank you so much, Kim. She uh, if you're new to the channel, she is a subscriber and friend of mine um, she's been sending all kinds of packages for a long time now and uh, we kinda like trade back and forth uh, also uh, Bruce who's in Hong Kong I trade back and forth and uh, just kinda like every month or so or whatever we do a little care package trade so just a little something cool so let's see what Kim sent she got her package finally the mail for Bro Bruce and Kim were super delayed I don't don't know why it took so long. So we'll just open this up, make sure. Don't want to rip anything. I think there's a note in here. I'm going to bet first. There it is. She's got some things for Chase. From Chase and Ink. She said she was going to send some things. Make sure I got it all over. Hi Caleb, here's your TTMs and some goodies. Hope you enjoy them all. Um, the closed items for Bruce and Garrett and Chase. Hope send on to them and your parents for me. Um, loving all of your videos that you are doing and always enjoying seeing what TTMs you get in the post. Your mom and sister should do more future videos. Uh, I'll try and see if I can get them uh, to do some stuff in the future. Um, I'm sure they're up for it. Sometimes you can hear them, uh, like, I'll say, hey guys, I'm going to be filming, but they still, <laughs> they start, like, calling me, like, 
for dinner or something in the background. So when you live in a family of five, it's kind of hard to do videos. Uh, but she says, sending love to you and your family and give Duke a hug for me. Duke, come here. Come here. He's right here. Come here. He wants to give you a hug. Come here. I'll give you a hug. Oh, you're not supposed to lay down. Okay. He's not going to take it. <laughs> I'll try later. <laughs> okay, so we got a. This is one stack. It's going to be a long video. Two stacks and three stacks. So, first off, we got for Garrett. Can I see Sigmund Jan, the first German space? She got Garrett. I've not heard back from him. I did write him. Maybe it's because I closed money and not posted. <laughs> I fortunately didn't have any German stamps. So I will set that aside for Garrett and send that to him in his next package. And then Bruce's next package, he'll be getting some of this stuff. So thank you, Kim, for thinking of my other friends. It's really nice of you to do that. Kim's just a really humble person and just thinks of others. So um, she's really cool. So I wish she'd do some videos, Kim. We could, I'm sure we'd all subscribe to you. But uh, she does post her uh, successes on uh, the Facebook group page, um, YouTube Autograph and TTM group. And she might be on Sports Card Show and Tell, I don't remember. It might just be U YouTube Autograph TTM group. I'll see if I, if I remember, I'll put the link to that group down below if you want to join. Uh, I'm an admin on there, and LS Cards Christian, if you guys remember him, he started that group. So here's my stuff. So first off, we have a um, sticker, I think it's PX, it's either PXP or PXT, I'm not really sure. Uh, we got the first German space, there's Sigmund Jan's signed index card, I know she got him on a few photos, and then here's a nice 4x6, I believe this is the one that I sent him, at least I sent him a version of this photo, not this exact one, but uh, very cool. Uh, really happy to get that one. Nice uh, German and space history. Got some uh, tickets from an old Miss Rebels game, so she must got these from maybe a fan pack. This is cool. This is uh, does it give a date from nine six eighteen? So this is a fairly recent one actually. So that's cool. Um. This is a, from a basketball game, Ole Miss basketball game. Advertisement form, I think. This is Christopher Plummer. Yeah, she said she was able to get Mr. Christopher Plummer. Of course, it's in The Sound of Music. Uh, he plays kind of the bad guy in Up. Uh, the voice of him and all, all sorts of things. He's been in lots of things over the years. This is Bernard Cribbins. Yeah, um, I tried sending to him and got a return to sender and she right away she was like Caleb I got you I'll send it something I was like well thank you so much Kim um because I was just like well it's kind of a waste of stamps maybe it'll work maybe won't if I send another three stamps um uh, to get a return from him in the UK but uh, she got them and she got some for herself too so very cool thank you so much Kim for doing that she got one a second one there And a third one. So yeah. So Bernard Cribbins, he's um, like 90, 91 years old. And I believe he was a UK World War II veteran. So this goes towards the World War II collection as well. I'm pretty sure he was in World War II. Or maybe like right after it ended. She got him all kinds of things. She got another one. Doctor Who. And Rail Railmore Children, I think. I'm trying to think of the name. I've heard of that movie. Oh, we got uh, Mr. Gibbs from Pirates of the Caribbean, Kevin McNally. He was also pretty good in the AMC series Turn. That was a pretty enjoyable series to watch, but I definitely love him as uh, Mr. Gibbs in Pirates of the Caribbean. Love the Pirates of the Caribbean movies. It's one of my favorites. Um, this is Anton Lesser. Very cool. I do not have anything from Mr. Lesser. So that's awesome. This is coming also from Bernard Cribbins, a uh, little extra he threw in. Here's a picture of him. You guys might recognize him there. 
pretty popular British actor. This is from. Well, this is uh, Kim's brother, Wayne. Um, from the head gardener at Birmingham Botanical Gardens. So that's pretty cool. So we have to say thank you to your brother for me and hi as well. So thank you, Wayne. Oh, we got a Osprey Europe sticker. This is... This is kind of, I thought this was Kevin McNally too, but didn't see him on the photo. So pretty cool, he signed that one, Kevin McNally. Got a racing here, Ferraris. I used to always joke um, <laughs> that I'd own a Ferrari Sunday. But that's never going to happen, but I used to always collect the Hot Wheel Ferraris and stuff, so they're cool. I'm not sure who they are. I'd have to look up. Oh, it says, oh, I guess it has their names. K. Keyson, maybe? C E C C O N, the guy on the right. And Ma King Hua. <laughs> I'm not sure. It's the guy on the left, so I'll have to double. See how they pronounce their name. Uh, Maxwell Caulfield, Empire Records. Signed index card. Very cool. Kim, your package is filling up pretty quick. Quick too. I might have to send yours out pretty soon here as well. Got Juliet Mills, um, a rare breed. The lady vanishes. All kinds of stuff. This is from, uh, she got Larry Kenner, who's the voice of um, Claudius and Lino and the Thundercats. So she got a print off of the Thundercats patch. And she also sent me the patch I got it. Uh, it's in that cabinet over there with uh, stuff I got to put away. This is Kevin. Etching, maybe? Or is that Kevin McNally again? No, Kevin Eldon, maybe? And then this is Pirates of the Caribbean. This is Anton Lester, very cool. Love it, so awesome. Thank you so much, Cam. Oh, very cool. From Dunkirk, this is James Darcy. Very cool. It was a good movie. Dun Dunkirk. Christopher Nolan, used, of course, is not a fan of CGI. He tries to use like minimum or none, so they were like pretty much real effects. So it was a pretty good movie. Uh, Rachel Hardwood. Um, she was in the Peter Pan movie. Came about like 2003 or so. That was like one of my childhood favorites. My sister, me, and my brother, we all loved watching that one. So very cool to get this one. This is, I'm not sure who, oh, it's right here, duh. Vera Lynn. Uh, she's a war veteran and a sweetheart singer. Vera Lynn. A World, World War II war veteran, she said. This is cool. This is uh, Bobby Holland. He was the stuntman for Thor. And uh, this is the second movie. There you go. My sister's going to love this one. She want to see that one. That's really cool. <laughs> she loves the Thor movies. And that is it. So that's everything. So um, thank you so much, Kim, for all the awesome stuff. Thank you so much for your friendship and just thinking of me and others. Um, you're just a really wonderful person. Uh, really, just thought it was really awesome just being able to meet you. And uh, wouldn't have had that privilege if you know I hadn't started my YouTube channel and being able to meet all of you guys. And hopefully, maybe someday we can meet in person. Maybe. I'd love to be able to go to UK. Uh, I really want to visit uh, the in the Highlands, uh, the Isle of Skye in Scotland. I'd really love to go there. And of course, in the Midlands, I go, I can go visit you, and I'd probably go visit Retro Mickey if he'd be up to it, and some other people that also uh, are in the Midlands as well. So, so guys, this video's gone on long enough. It's a long episode, so hope you guys enjoyed. 
Uh, maybe you grabbed a bag of popcorn or a drink or put this in your watch later. Come finish it later. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a really great weekend. And I look forward to seeing you all next week. So have a great day, guys. Bye.